What up, Nation? Optic J here, along with some fellow friends of ours. Say hello. Hi. What's up, Optic Nation? Optic Nation, this is Optic Fwiz, and we got a commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Quit talking. It's not this that bad. This is Optic Fwiz bringing you a top five kill cam of the week. Five. Jeez, man. These are, haters going to hate. Big Optic Hex here. Bro, Bring Hex, you, you do it. Five. You kind of do it, Hex, but you officially make it monotone, and you talk too slow, bro. All right, how about this? How about this? You two. How the fuck you doing? <laughs> 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 you to do it. Oh man, uh, yes, we uh, up, we up, have a very Optic clever here. dynamic of personalities on Optic Nation. Bro, see, you just said that in commentary form. Optic I Nation, I this speak, is Optic. I speak with. to my mother in a casual conversation in commentary form. This is I, I don't change it up. This I, I bring Fwiz one hundred and ten percent all natural when I drop videos. Okay, I can just Mom, see. It. I would really like to get the spaghetti and meatballs instead of the macaroni. And <laughs> yeah. Mom, what I really want to do is bring that garlic bread with a side of spaghetti and meatballs, and if you could please give me that coke on ice, that'd be great. <laughs> Dude, I see it as hey, mom, Merry Christmas and Happy New. Year. Year. What no, we're gonna we do the fuck here. is develop yeah. some New Year's resolutions and put them on Optic Nation. <laughs> I am. See, I shouldn't have even told you because Yo, I feel like my well, video is uh, coming out before or after with my New Year's resolution on there, and it's a really gay New Year's resolution too. Jones, you had a pretty good uh, catchphrase. What was it? I, I I don't remember it. Oh, That's footage of the gameplay, the gameplay footage. Yeah. It yeah. Was, uh, it was better back back when. Back when I never used to say it except for twice. I'm going to start using it again when I do commentaries, but uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Wait, what's the saying? I missed it. Footage of the gameplay, the gameplay footage. I usually used to say, this has been Optic J. Thank you for watching the footage of the gameplay, the gameplay footage. I don't know. I just said it one day on one of the O'Reilly shows, I think like episode two. and Hex seemed was to all, stick, huh? Yeah, well, Hex was dick riding me for it, saying, You should always say that, bro. Oh, I was dick riding. Oh, so busting out the D rider comment, man. That's low, dude. It's all right, bro. Hex throws in his share of fair blows to me. Absolutely does. <laughs> we're all good. So, yeah, we're on Summit here. I, I know you guys don't see the video in front of you. That's how we do commentaries here, Nation, is that we're supposed to put them in each other's Dropbox so we can actually watch each other play, but. I really don't want to see Hex's gameplay, nor do I want to see Fwiz's, and they definitely right. see mine. So we just kind of talk and rant, and all of a sudden you have a commentary. Hey, what, what you said, Summit on what? Summit on Summit. Summit on uh, Summit, huh? Excellent. Yeah, that new new game type. <laughs> that new new game type where you actually get to play Summit on Summit at Optic Summit Nate. Summit on Summit Black Ops coming 2011. I don't even know when this this commentary ends. But I have a chopper gunner right now, so you know at least you know it's going well. What, yes. So, Jones, what's been your favorite thing about Call of Duty Black Ops so far, dude? One thing you've been like, God, fuck yes, I love this. Uh, I'd have to say probably the AK-47, and I'll just I'll keep it simple and revert to the guns because I love the TAR back in Modern Warfare 2. I felt like that was the only gun. Well, not the only gun, but it was one of the only guns that could just start cutting people down like crazy. And yeah, the search- TAR was pretty powerful, man. Yeah, it would really cut through people. And now when I come to Black Ops, I was really searching for that gun. I actually thought it would be the AUG, what I'm using right now. And You know, I have to give the AUG credit. It actually does do it at times. But when yeah, it the AUG and Famas are pretty Actually, pretty uh, Jones, Jones, and Diesel, Jones and Diesel had a, a, a doubles team called TAR Stars. It was pretty funny. <laughs> at all, but we should have. That would have been pretty funny. It would have been maybe a good series because Diesel's, Diesel's pretty rampage attic. I just invented a new word. When Rampage Attic? Like, like, yeah, I guess it is. Huh? Rampage Attic and you flapjacks and stuff. But yeah, I'd have to say that's my best. What about you? What do I, oh, I've liked the most is the introduction to Gun Game. I kind of want to go back and play it a little bit more. I've, I've kind of gravitated away from it since I've been ranking up this Optic Quiz account. I haven't been jumping back in them. But, you know, like I was such a big into Counter-Strike when I was younger, um, and that's where Gun Game derived. So I, I probably would want to would say that the fact that they introduced it, it's not like it, what it was for Counter-Strike. It's like they actually changed a lot of it. But um, I, I think that was the coolest thing that they did, that whole wager it, in the think, money currency system. I think it would be cool, Quiz, if you actually had a chance to, you know, put your PayPal in there, you know, and, and actually play for, like, not even dollars. <laughs> yeah, that would be crazy, dude. The, the high rollers obviously will pay for dollars, and obviously the, the regular gun games would be with, uh, with like, cents. You know, 10 cents adds up eventually. I would probably play it because I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a pretty hardcore gambler when it... You know, I play poker, no <laughs> limit. I, I, I go to the boat uh, every so often. I, I, blackjack, craps, 
I'm uh, I'm into it. Um, so that was probably that was probably a game that I would have like if you actually got the chance to to. Uh, but then I don't know how Microsoft would look at it as far as. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say yeah. You know, I feel but, like um, I think you'd have to have it like be like a plug-in or an add-on, and somehow be able to. I, I, that's just you know I don't think they would be digging that at all. But I like your idea though, like where you've got. I feel like. That that all sounds cool, and I like the the fact of how you even already talked about the money. Like you know, play like ten cent games for smaller ones, and like you said, like a dollar. I think that'd be really cool. And ten who cent knows, games. man? Although it's a crazy thought, you guys can't. You, I can imagine seeing it in like ten years. You know, in gaming. Yeah. That would and be. ten cent games. Screw that. I want ten dollar ten dollar games. I mean, just think. Yeah, about right. So you get slapped around in your wager match. I know, dude. You you think camping <laughs> is bad now? Oh my gosh, your dick would be so far in that dirt. I, or, oh yeah, especially if you like like one in the chamber or something. One in the chamber, I've like wanted to seriously hurt people after that game. Yeah, one in the chamber. Oh my. Yeah, people <laughs> sit in the corner and just you while you'll be creeping on the low and, and just boom, just shot like I don't like oh why I fuck that. It'd be fun though. It, it's a, I mean I like the one in the chamber, but I haven't played it enough to where I can actually make a fair assessment to say there's so many campers here. So it sounds like it's it's overwhelming at times with all the camping. Not overwhelming, but you know. Holy crap! I want to throw my controller through the screening. I, yeah, it's I just haven't ran into any camping at all in, in the gun games. Oh really? I have, man. It's just really? people because you know, like um, as soon as it starts it starts going down, and I, and maybe I just rush too much and go out there because you know you have you have like what is it three lives? You gotta get you know. So yeah. the only time I guess what what does promote away from camping is the fact that you know you do if you miss a bullet you I mean you got to go get somebody you know what i'm saying so you can't just sit around you know knifing in a corner is not going to really work too well for you yeah i don't know man so uh, what do you guys think about i mean on this map i'm not so much playing the objective and when i play with people like my friends and stuff like that um, you never play the objective they let me they let me go through and kill her and well right now i'm with slider and he likes to kill her too but uh, I do like to play the objective, actually, Hector. That yeah, in competitive like, matches, he's always playing an OBJ. Yeah, dude, like, when it comes to GBs, I will be the first to run and plant that bomb and disable it. But when it comes to pubs, it's like, I want to play the objective for the points, but I also just want to get some kills, dude, because it's been a while since I've actually sat down and, like, really enjoyed kill streaks for, for what they are. Back in Modern Warfare 2, at towards uh, the end of it, I just got so pissed that every time I started building up a good kill streak, I'd get noob tubed. And, like, that, know, that turned off. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with the objective all day all the time since Call of Duty 2 I've always been the box for like I've always been like I don't know I don't know why but I like I, not, not only does it obviously help you win the game but for me it was always like objective 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 like running the flag is like the funnest things that <laughs> yeah I, you do even, love running that flag man <laughs> even in Call of Duty 2 even in Call of Duty 2 in Carrington I would oh, yeah. like run the 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 awesomest routes because obviously they would see you but they. You know, the, they wouldn't show the flag where you're at or mm -hmm. on, on their map. So I would pull the craziest. I would run forward, come back into their base, and then run. It was it was awesome. Yeah, I, you know what? There's something so intense about being uh, being a flag carrier that it's just it's very addicting. I love it. Oh, flag carrier can be the most intense moments. So man. And we've seen them in GB matches too. Whether you're grabbing flag or pulling flag, or even the guy that's sitting back. Waiting for them to pull back the R flag back to their base and trying to come up clutch with a return, you know, like capture the flag. It will be so methodical and boring, and then all of a sudden you have these intense moments that like completely dictate the entire game. Right, and that's the and fun then, part about too the GBs. They give and you then the in, in the fun, in, in the last thirty nine seconds, somebody captures the flag in the game over. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't even bring that up. Source subject, man. Source Edit subject. Subject. Holy crap. Hex, you weren't there, though, when we had the upset. Man, we had a rough night the other night. A team came back and, and beat us. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. I told him about that. We were we were up 4-1 on firing range, capture the flag. Last game of the night, we were on a 10-game winning streak. This was the last game to close the night off. We were up 4-1 in the half. Everybody just obviously slacked off because we were on a 10-game winning streak and we're destroying these kids. And these fucking kids, I kid you not, came back to beat us at, after being up 4-1 at the half. In five minutes, they capped four flags on us. That's yeah. it. It was annoying. But you know what? When it all said and done, we probably shouldn't have played that last match. We were just on, like, this winning high. But all of us were like, oh, I'm so tired. It was like 3 in the morning where you were, wasn't it, Fliz? Yeah, it was like 3.30. I was beat. We shouldn't have played that match. Yeah. We had no business still being on GB at that hour. Hey, but at least it was good, though, dude. We We held our ground and, like... We won the first game, lost the second game, 
It was or we won we whatever whatever the order was. No, we lost the first game because I fucked up the rules. Oh, that's right. We gave them. And then, that. and then we won. We on uh, demolition. We won that. Remember, it was demolition, and we won. We actually won it. But they're like, no, the rules are wrong. So we lost game one. Then we won. We won, and then they won. I guess yeah, would have won game two, and uh, went to game three, and we suck and we choke. Yeah. Well, it was fun either way. And you know what, dude? It's a lot more commentaries with us three. Sorry, we lost track of time. That's what happens. We talk to each other. We have a good time. We end up having relations with each other. Each other's touching and fondling. Peace out, Optic Nation. Thank you for watching the footage of the gameplay. The gameplay footage. We're out. Peace. Peace.